And today's video is all about this Teslong endoscope. Uh, Teslong do quite a few different ones, but this is the bird basic one. It does everything that I need it to do. We'll have a look at the specifications. We'll go through the app and we'll see it in action. Let's do it. However, before we see it in action, I just want to go through the specifications, uh, the accessories, and also just extol the virtues of an endoscope camera. So as you can see, to say it does so much, it comes in an extremely small package. So you've got your coil with your holders there. And if you undo those, you're going to be left with a length that's just short of 10 feet. You've got your camera at one end with LED lights around it, because obviously where you're going to be sticking this, it's going to need illumination. And on the other end, because it doesn't have its own screen, this connects to either your phone or a tablet, something like that. And you've got the option of connecting it to either to iOS or to USB-C devices. Now I've got a, a Samsung S23 Ultra, so I'll be using the USB-C there. However, uh, my son's got a, an iPhone 14 Pro Max, so he'd be using this one, which is the lightning connector. Obviously, you're not going to have to worry about that with the iPhone 15s because they've been forced to use the USB-C, which is good. But if you do want to use the Apple, all you do, take the adapter, pop it on, click it into place, and then it simply plugs into your device. Now, once you've downloaded the app and installed it, as soon as you plug in the endoscope camera, it automatically opens up the app so you can start using it straight away. And I'll explain the app in more detail when I'm using the camera. So that's really it for the camera itself. Uh, you've got your connector, at the other end you've got your camera and you start using it. You do, however, get three accessories with it. And each one of those does an entirely different job. So you've got a hook for if you drop some keys down somewhere, uh, you would feed this down, find them with the camera, and then because it's attached at the end, which I'll show you in a moment, it simply picks it up like that. You've got a similar one, which is you've got a, a magnet at the end there. So again, this screws onto the camera. And this one, well, more often than not, when you put in this somewhere, you can't get your fingers to it to turn it to a 90 degree angle. So what this is, this fits on the end. And again, that now we've got a mirror on there. So you're actually looking at 90 degrees to the side, which is really useful. And the way that each one of those fits is nice and easy. You get your camera, the end screws off like so. Pop that down and then we'll get the magnet. That's threaded there. Get it, pop it on, screw it home. And if we get something like a screw that you've dropped, if that's down like that, as it gets close, picks it up, and that's what that one's for. Turn that off. Now we're just going to be using it as a camera for the time being. I don't need any of these, but I have done when I've used one of these inside the engine when I drop something. So we'll put that cap back on there. Right, the final bit of specification on it. Uh, so it's IP67, so waterproof, so you can put it into pipes, etc. that have got water in them. It's uh, The resolution is, I think it's 1280 by 970, so it's HD, which is the most important thing. It takes pictures on the app, it records on the app, uh, all for viewing at a later date. And the cost of it is around about 25 pounds, but I'll put the link under the video. And the length of it is just shy of 10 feet, which is more than long enough, unless let's say you're putting it down a pipe, but 10 feet's a long, long way. Right then, so we're going to see it in action in two areas today. The first area is behind here, I'm not too sure if I've got a leak where all the water connections are, but I can't see, hence the endoscope. And then the other thing that we're going to have a look at is the wall-mounted toilet, where the flusher is. It's only a small hole, uh, and I need to get inside to have a look to see whether I can see where the power source is. So let's get started. As I said, I'm using the Samsung S23 Ultra, which obviously is Android, uh, and the app, well, there's a QR code in the instructions if it's an iOS device, then just scan the iOS QR code. 
If it's an Android device, scan that barcode. It takes you to the Play Store, download the app, install it, and that's pretty much it. And as I say, as soon as you plug this in, the app will open. So let's see the app, and then we'll see it working. Get the plug end of the test long endoscope, and simply plug it into your phone or your tablet. And once it's plugged in, the app opens up. You can see it there. So it's already on, there you go, that's me. I should have said that's me. There you go, that's a better picture. Now, if we have a look at the app, so to the bottom left hand side, if you've videoed anything, it's in there. Now, I've not stored anything or taken any pictures because I just look at it straight on the screen. Uh, so that's the pictures one and that's the video one. If we come out of that, your center button at the bottom, that's to actually do the recording. So above it, you can flick between video and photo. And then just if you press it when you're on photo, and make the noise, it'll take the picture. In fact, we'll do that of me again. Oops, there's a bit harder one hand. So smile. Ah, there you go, it's taking the picture there. And further on to the right hand side, you've got your zoom so that's at one times press it again you're at 1.5 and press it again that's at two back to normal and then back up to the top in the left hand side if you click on that it takes you back to the home screen next to the back button is the rotate button so if you press that it turns it to landscape and upside down then reversed and then back to normal again Next to that, you've got your colour button. So you don't want to see everything in colour. It may be easier to see something in black and white. So press it, flicks to black and white, press it again, back to colour. And then the button next to that, if you press that, whilst you've still got your video running to the left hand side there, you can go through the files that you've got saved if you need to compare anything. Right, that's the overview of the app. Let's see it working. Okay, so we're all set up. I'm going to switch it over to video and let's go in so i'm basically looking for signs of water on the connections so i'll start the video and i'll go in so here's the connectors there and there's no sign of water whatsoever on that one just switch around to the other side come out a bit I'll go from there actually Yep, unfortunately, there's no signs of water there neither. So I know that that's not leaking. And if I wanted to, I could push it further in and get a good view of the back there, see if there's anything coming out of that. Nope, perfectly dry. Right, that's good. Okay. That would have been so hard to do with, uh, I could have tried doing it with the camera, but I could have only have got as far as the opening itself. I couldn't have got inside. So an endoscope camera, really, really good for small confined spaces, um, especially if you're going through slats uh, or especially if you're working on an engine and you need to get down inside the engine. If you've dropped something, you need to use that magnetic pickup tool. Absolutely fantastic. But let's see it on the other thing now. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and I want to see inside to see if I can see where the power source is for it. So if we take that off first, you can see it's a small hole and there's absolutely no way that I can get my head in there to see what's going on. So we're going to use the endoscope and obviously you can see it's lit up there. So let's go up inside. I'm going to again record on the video. So this is inside and you can see there, there's the opening at the top. And if I go in, I can see the power cable and that looks okay. Perfect. So I can see that that's the power source there, oh, which is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. I didn't realize that the uh, bathroom fitters when they did it last week had actually put a power socket in there. So if anything goes wrong, you can see the plug. Just put my hand up there a bit. So you can see the plug that I can just unplug and then I can replace this easily if I have to do or put a completely different
different model in there if I want to as well. So that is perfect. So without an endoscope, there's no way that I'd have known that that uh, plug board was there. That's a winner for me. That's made me feel a lot happier because I know that I'll be able to access that in the future and change things over quicker. Okay, so in summary, this test long endoscope, what do I think of it? Well, as you can see, it's done everything that I've asked of it to do today. Um, they are so, so very useful endoscopes, but it's not until you have to use one that you find out just how useful they are. You can get more advanced ones. I've got one that's got the monitor actually attached to it, but for £25, uh, as long as you've got a phone or a tablet and everybody's got one of those and it's either going to be an Android or an iOS, this is going to connect to it. It's got a 10 foot long cable. It does everything that every other one does. Uh, some of the new ones that come out now, I think, um, I think Test Long actually do the one that I'm talking about where you have to have the adapter on this one to view at a 90 degree angle they've actually got another two cameras on. So the three cameras, so you can just flick between the cameras without having to put an adapter on. Uh, but as I said, 24, 25 pounds, this does everything that I want it to do. Uh, and I can't see me having to use or having to buy another one for the foreseeable future because this does everything. It's in HD, it records, you can view in black and white, you can view in color. It's nice and bright. The accessories that come with it, well, you've got your magnetic one, you've got your hook one for picking keys up, etc., um, And you've got your 90 degree um, angle one for changing the camera angle. So one of those really should suit any purpose that you want to use it for. Majority of the time it's just looking. Teslong seems to be a really established provider of endoscopes. They've got quite a range when you go onto the website. I got this one through Amazon. As I say, I'll put the link underneath, but um, very, very happy with that. Very happy with that. And we can go up and up, here we go. Yeah, oh, can't get much further than that. And it's a bit hairy down at the bottom. But you can see how it works in really close, confined quarters like my nose. 